Right. He's toast. I just smoked a pig, man. I just smoked a pig. Is there... <sighs> That's a good buck. That's a good buck. I just smoked that tent. That's that tent I was in here after. And I just put one right in the pump station. Yeah. Oh. Oh my God. That's I just smoked one of the nicest bucks I've seen this year today. And there was no way I was gonna pass this buck. Great Pennsylvania buck. I still got deer out, oh, man. I can't talk, dude. I'm telling you what, this is what it's about. I self-filmed it all. I drew back the first time. It wasn't on film. I, I told myself, no, let down, let down. So I let down. It comes back around. Thank God, dude. I'm telling you, this was meant to be. It turns around, comes back around these does. I know it, it zoomed out, I didn't zoom in. I wanted to make sure I got some of it on film. But when this buck stopped, big deer, big buck, and I put it right in his pump station, 32 yards, you couldn't ask for a better shot. He went 50 yards walking, he was hurt so bad, laid down, five, 10 minutes later it goes by, boom, he flops over, belly up, it's done. The buck's done and that's one of my nicest bucks to date. I could be happy, baby. <laughs> Folks, when I'm not gonna go check the deer and all that. When I shoot the deer, I stay out of there. So I seen about where he fell. I think I can still see white belly. So we're gonna I'm gonna back out here in about an hour or two. I'll get down, go up to my truck, get my stuff ready, and hopefully give some people some calls. And see if someone can come because I shot this buck before school. This was a two hour hunt and you know it, it's amazing when you put the hard work in you get up every morning before school even if it's an hour you go out and you slam bucks like that in the middle of october that's what i'm talking about it's going to be warm today 80 something degrees and it doesn't matter because he was on his feet this morning and there he was whack done <laughs> I thought I saw it lay down, I'm pretty sure I did, but we backed out for a while. We got good blood, I just haven't found my hair. We'll keep looking. There he is. <laughs> that boy, Matty. Put him down. That's an awesome buck. I was debating whether to shoot him or not. I know he's not the one that I was in here after, but you know, you can't pass in Pennsylvania on a good buck like this. So he gave me the right shot and the second time through, the first time it wasn't, wasn't what I wanted, so. But I uh, got him on film. I mean, not the greatest film, but I got him and uh, made a good shot on him. Put it right behind the blade. He was spraying. He didn't get more 50 yards down over the hill. And, it down. I couldn't be any happier. I know it don't seem like I'm happy right now, but I'm ecstatic. So this is know, one heck of a buck, man. I'm speechless. This is this is what I put in every day for. This is why I'm every summer, every night, I'm uh, checking the cameras. You know, I'm I'm doing the hard work, and people don't see that. And you know, only the crew here I have actually respect it. And this is what happens when you do it. This is a PA. This is a nice buck. This is public land. I mean, it just, 
Don't get any better. Well, as you can see on the film, I put one in this guy. And uh, did it all by myself this morning, self-filmed everything. Uh, went and got my buddy Derek Smith and Carl. He came and helped us. What a track job. I mean, it might not look like a big deer, but this is probably one of the biggest deer I've ever drug out. And he's all rutted up. You, you see the neck here. I mean, he's thick. You know, and this is a bucket I wasn't going to shoot this year. Uh, he's probably three. I'm going to say maybe four. I was in here after a couple five-year-olds that I've been watching and got big bone on them, but uh, yeah, he gave me the right chance, and I thought I missed him the first time. I thought I wasn't going to get my chance. He went by. I couldn't. I had to let down. Like, it wasn't on film, and I didn't want to shoot him. So he come back around. He gave me the right chance, 32 yards. I smashed him, put it right in. He didn't go 50 yards. Laid down five, ten minutes. He expired. So it was a good, healthy kill, and. Uh, I can't be more happier. I mean, this is what it pays off. It got my blood flowing. I was ecstatic, so. There ain't nothing like smashing a big buck in PA. Double D outdoors, baby.